What is base 10? If I pick 9 apples, I can show this amount with the digit 9. If I pick one more apple, I cannot show this amount with a single digit. This box can only hold one digit at a time. I cannot show 10 using only one place. When I get up to 10 apples, I have to regroup them into one group of 10. This is the ones place. To keep track of my groups of 10, I need another place called the tens place. If I pick 13 apples, I have three lone apples or three ones and one group of 10 apples. Here's what 25 apples looks like. I have five ones and two tens. What if I get up to 10 groups of 10? How would I write that? 10 groups of 10 is 100. I need to group them into one group of 100 apples. We have to add another place to keep track of the groups of 100. The hundreds place. Now I have four apples, two groups of 10 apples, and one group of 100 apples. I have 124 apples. What would happen if I got up to 10 groups of 100 apples? I would group them into one group of 1,000. Instead of using apples, let's use base 10 blocks to make some numbers. This block represents a 1. Once we have 10 ones, we can group them together to create a 10. Once we have 10 tens blocks, we can group them together to create a hundred. Once we have 10 hundreds blocks, we can group them together to create a thousand. 10 groups of a thousand equals one group of 10,000. Ten groups of 10,000 equal one group of 100,000. And ten groups of 100,000 equal one group of a million. Our number system is called base 10 because it's all based on tens. Each new digit is worth 10 times more than the digit that came before it. We can use base 10 blocks to make numbers. To make the number 335, I need five ones blocks, three tens blocks, which is worth 30, and three hundreds blocks, which is worth 300. Let's try another. This time, to make the number 1062, I need two ones blocks, six tens blocks, which is worth 60. I don't have any hundreds blocks, and I have one thousands block. Now let's work backwards. This time, I can see the blocks, and I need to figure out what number they represent. Let's start with the ones. I have six ones blocks, so I have a six in the ones place of my number. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens blocks, so I should put an eight in the tens place. That's worth 80. And I have two hundreds blocks, so I'll have a two in my hundreds place. These blocks show the number 286. Let's try another. This time I have four ones blocks, 12 tens blocks. Hmm, that's not right. I can only put one digit in each of these places. I can't put a 12 in the tens place. Let's try that again. I'll have to regroup. Here I see 10 
tens. And I know that 10 tens is actually 100. Let's group these 10 tens blocks together to make a new hundreds block. Now I only have two tens and I have two hundreds. This shows the number 224. Let's review base 10. Our number system is all based on 10. Each time a digit moves up a place, it is worth 10 times more. We can use base 10 blocks to represent the value of numbers. These blocks represent the number 135 because I have one hundreds block, three tens blocks, and five ones blocks. Sometimes we have to regroup blocks to make the numbers make sense. This time, I have 10 ones blocks. That's actually another tens block. Now I can see the number 140. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.